Hi, Mr. Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to be writing a program in Python that completes uh, synthetic division for a polynomial degree 3. Okay, so let's start with this program. So we're going to print um, a little welcome. Welcome to the synthetic division of cubics. Program. Okay, and we want to get an input. Uh, we want to get a variable. So, actually, first we want to tell them what to do. So, we want them to input the coefficients in front of x cubed, x squared, x, and input the constant. Um, in front of x, or the constant uh, by itself. Um, maybe give them an example. So print i e um, my cubic is 2x cubed plus 3x squared uh, minus 1. I would input 2, 3, 0, because there's no number in front of x, and negative 1. Okay, so now we have to get those inputs. So we'll do uh, cubic coefficient equals the input of what is the value in front of x cubed. Value, what is the coefficient? Uh, then we have the uh, quadratic coefficient. Call it that. Uh, that's the input of what is the coefficient in front of x squared. Okay, then we have a uh, single of a uh, power of one coefficient. Not the best name for a variable, but whatever. Um, what is the coefficient in front of x? Okay, Put space here, space here, space here and constant that's going to be the input uh, what is the constant okay so we've got all those so now we have to define a function we're going to call that synthetic division and we need to pass in the cubic coefficient well we need one more thing uh, we'll get there in a minute. Uh, we're going to have to pass in the quadratic coefficient. And we need to pass in the power 1 coefficient. And we need to pass in the constant. Uh, oh, and uh, print, we also need the constant in the binomial that is dividing the cubic, or that the cubic is being divided by. Okay, so we need that. Don't need a question mark, we just need it. Um, and then we'll print, for example, um, if your cubic is being divided by x plus 3, the constant is 3. Okay, and uh, we should also say don't divide. Divide the cubic by a 
binomial that has a number greater than 1 for the coefficient of x. All right, and then we've got to get uh, the binomial constant. So we'll say binomial constant is input. What is the binomial constant? Okay, and we also should pass that into our function. Going. There we go. That's well done, right? Okay, so now we got to figure out how we're going to do this. So um, we're now going to change the binomial constant. So binomial constant is going to equal um, the binomial constant. Times negative one. Okay. Um, also, we're going to have uh, some new variables we need. So we're going to have to have first. Uh, well, we can do quotient coefficient one. Uh, we'll set all these to zero to start. Quotient coefficient two. Um, so you're going to have a quadratic, and then you're going to have a quotient constant. That needs to be zero also. Okay, so we're going to bring down uh, the cubic coefficient. So the Quotient coefficient. The first one is going to equal uh, the cubic coefficient. Okay. Um, now we're going to multiply the binomial constant by the first quotient coefficient and then add that to the quadratic coefficient to get the second quotient coefficient. Just type all that stuff. There we go. Uh, so we're going to, let's see, uh, we're going to take the binomial constant and multiply it by multiply it by the uh, quotient coefficient, the first one. Okay, and then we're going to add that to the quadratic coefficient. Uh, so same way. Um, yeah, that's going to be the, uh, the, the quotient coefficient two. Okay. Then the constant the quotient constant is going to equal, um, now we're going to take this number. We're going to take the quotient coefficient. And we're going to multiply it by the binomial constant. Okay. And then we're going to add it to um, uh, let's see, it's going to be what do we call it? Um, power of one coefficient. Okay, and that's going to give us the 
proportion constant, and we also need a remainder. That's going to equal to zero. Okay, and well, we're starting at equal to zero. But the remainder is going to equal um, let's see, the remainder will equal now the quotient constant times the binomial coefficient. So the quotient constant times the binomial constant. And then we're going to add it to, um, oh boy, we're going to add it to the constant, the regular constant. That's going to give me my remainder. Okay, so now we need to print this out. So we're going to say, and this will have to be an F string, your and then we're going to put uh, your quotient let me put that in there, is uh, it's going to be uh, quotient coefficient one x cubed no x squared rather plus uh, we're going to have quotient coefficient 2 uh, times x plus then the quotient constant. Okay, and then the comma with a remainder of, let me type in the remainder. Okay, now we have to call this function. So we're going to call the synthetic division function. Uh, we got to pass the cubic coefficient. We've got to pass the quadratic coefficient. Oops, this line. Uh, we need to pass the power of one coefficient. And we need to pass constant and oh uh, the constant and the binomial constant now be prepared for some errors because i'm sure i typed something wrong like quadratic coefficient so i did something there um, Spelled it wrong. Okay, let's check. Here too. Uh, see, I think I made an error. Cubic coefficient, I spell it differently. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if this runs. What's the co coefficient in front of uh, x cubed? Let's say 4. What's the coefficient in front of x squared? Let's say 5. What's the coefficient in front of x? Let's say 2. And what's the constant? Let's actually say negative 1. Uh, what is the binomial constant? Let's say 9. And we got a big error. Okay, so a couple errors. Line 27. And line 21. What do we do in line 21? Mm. 
plus quadratic coefficient. I don't think I should be doing that. I think I should be adding motion coefficient 2 going to be the binomial constant times the cubic coefficients. Okay. And 21. Maybe fix 21 and then what is 27? Okay. Let's see if that's related. Let's save it and run. What's a coefficient in front of x cubed? Um, let's say 3, 4, 6, 1, and 5. And we get some more errors. Can't multiply sequence by non-integer of type string. Ah, that's what I'm doing wrong. Another basic error there. Uh, yeah, I have to wrap these in inputs into integers. Uh, I want them all to be integers, not strings. That's throwing a big error. Um, okay, save it, Let's pull this up, see what other errors we get, I'm sure we'll get some more. Okay, what's the coefficient for x cubed? Let's say 6, uh, 2, 8, just making up numbers here, 1, uh, negative 3. Okay, your quotient is... 6x squared plus 20x plus 68 with a remainder of 205. All right, so it does possibly work. Uh, I'm going to pause the video for a moment and do some synthetic division, and then we'll check it out. Okay, I'm back, and we're going to test this again, so let's run it. Okay, so coefficient, I picked 4, and I picked 0, uh, then 3, then negative 1, and binomial constant is four. And it actually exactly works. Nice. All right, so that's how you build a synthetic division calculator for cubics. Pretty basic. Um, yeah, but just make sure to wrap those strings and in integers and don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, if you have any questions about it, um, just leave a comment in the comments below. And thank you for watching and have great day. Bye.